Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video we are going to make an electrolytic pasta. Some of you my friends told me many many times could you please make an electrolytic pasta, make a professional electrolytic pasta. So in today's video we are going to make an um, professional electrolytic capacitor. It's very easy to build. I will show you step by step. I will show you the uh, critical point of making an electrolytic capacitor. So first of all, in order to make an electrolytic capacitor, first of all, we need to understand uh, the basics of electrolytic capacitors and the working principles of electrolytic capacitor. In a regular electrolytic capacitor, there are two electrodes. The first one is negative electrode and the other one is the positive electrode. The negative electrode is consists of aluminum foil and the positive electrode also consists of uh, aluminum foil but there's a little bit uh, differences here uh, on the positive electrode as you see um, here uh, red part is the aluminum oxide so then positive electrode is covered with uh, aluminum oxide so um, shortly and briefly we can say that the negative electrode is consists of uh, aluminum foil and the positive electrode is coated aluminum foil with um, coated with aluminum oxide. The function of aluminum oxide is uh, working as a dielectric. So it's a very thin layer, works as a dielectric. And these two electrodes, the negative electrodes and the positive electrodes, are separated by a separator, and it is filled with an electrolyte. So when you roll it up and uh, filled with an electrolyte your electrolytic capacitor is ready to use. So, according to this principle, today we are going to make an electrolytic capacitor. Okay, for that, as you see, I have here an uh, aluminum foil. It is not very thin, it's a little bit thick, so uh, the regular kitchen aluminum foil is uh, very thin, so I don't recommend you to use those kinds of uh, aluminum foil. The aluminum foil that you are going to use should be a little bit thick because we are going to oxidize the uh, positive electrode. So if it is very thin, uh, it will ruin, diminish. So uh, you can't use a very thin uh, aluminum foil. It could be a little bit thick. So uh, as you see, this is uh, six centimeters. Here six centimeters, and here is thirty centimeters. I will divide this aluminum foil into two parts two same parts but I will leave a contact to contact point here so uh, when I cut the aluminum foil please wash me carefully and you are you need also you have to also cut just like me okay and you see I have uh, some parts here I will not cut them So the thickness of the aluminum foil uh, should be at least uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. If it's a little bit thicker, it's better, but at least it should be uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. Okay, my friends, as you see, I just cut the aluminum foil. As you see, I leave some uh, connection part here. We will use them as a uh, connectors for our capacitor and here I have also a connection part from my aluminum foil. So we have two pieces of aluminum foil 30 centimeters and 3 centimeters here. So the total area is 90 centimeters squares. Okay. Okay my friends now I need a separator. As a separator I am going to use post machine paper. As you see it's a very thin very nice paper. I will cut two parts. Uh, 35 centimeters long and 4 centimeters in length, two pieces of separator. Okay, my friends, as you see, I have my separators here. I have two pieces of separator. I didn't uh, cut them. I just fold into two pieces my separator. Uh, it is uh, 35 centimeters long and 4 centimeters length separator. Now I will just... Um, place my aluminum foils into the separators and roll all of them. Okay, my friends, I got my first aluminum foil, the first electrode here, and I'm going to use a piece of tape to stable the aluminum foil on the separator. Just like this. Okay, that's fine. 
now fold in two, two pieces and I'm going to put the second um, aluminum foil. Take the second one. I just put the second one, as you see, a little bit further than the other one. Uh, when we roll the uh, capacitor, you will understand why we put uh, the second one a little bit further than the other one. Now again, I'm going to use a piece of tape. And just tape the second one. Okay. Now it's time to roll the capacitor. For that, as you see, my friends, I have a stick here, ear cleaning stick here. I'm going to use this stick to roll the capacitor around this stick. I just take another um, piece of tape. Just, I'm going to tape the separator from here. Just from here. And I will, roll around this stick all of the uh, all of the uh, separators and aluminum foil i will roll around this stick my friends okay just like this watch very carefully Okay, my friends, I forget one step before roll the capacitor, I need to fold these parts here. It should be a little bit thick, so I will just fold this part just like this into four pieces. Yeah, the first piece and just fold into another piece. I need to do just like this and the other one I'm going to do the same thing for the other one Okay, my friends, as you see, I rolled the capacitor very tightly. Now I will last time uh, stable with tape. And um, <clears throat> as you see, we have two pins here, the negative and the positive connections for the uh, capacitor. Now our capacitor is ready. Now it's time to move the second step to uh, oxidize the uh, positive electrode of our um, capacitor. Okay, my friends, I have a small plastic tube here. Now I will seal it with my hot glue. Just like this. And cut the excessive parts. Okay, my friends, now I am going to put my uh, electrolytic capacitor into this plastic tube and it's time to fill this plastic tube with the electrolyte. As an electrolyte, I am going to use one molar sodium sulfate in the ionized water, one molar solution in the ionized water, 
This is the best electrolyte for an electrolytic capacitor. Now I am going to put the, um, this solution, this electrolyte into this plastic tube with the help of um, this injection. Okay, I'm just going to uh, put the electrolyte Normally when you add the electrolyte to the capacitor, you have to wait for about one or two days because uh, the capacitor should soak the electrolyte inside it. It will take time. It will take about one or two days to soak the electrolyte completely. You will get better results. So you have to wait for about one or two days. Okay, my friends, after waiting 24 hours, now it's time to move to electrochemical process. I'm going to apply 0.1 amp to this capacitor for about one or two hours after that there will be a, a oxidation layer oxide layer on the positive electrode so our electrolytic capacitor will be ready to use now i'm going to apply the um, current uh, this is the positive electrode and this is the negative electrode I just set up my um, charger to 0 0.1 amp and I will charge my electrolytic capacitor. As you see, the voltage is increasing. It means that the oxidation layers occur on the um, capacitor. As you see, the bubblings are forming from the capacitor electrochemical process due to the electrochemical process okay my friends the chemical process has finished now it's time to cover the capacitor and seal it after that our electrolytic capacitor will be ready to use now i will cover with this plastic okay i'm going to use my hot glue to seal it Okay, now wait until it dry. Okay, my friends, our electrolytic capacitor is ready to use. It is finished now. As you see, we have very nice, very beautiful electrolytic capacitor. Now it's time to test our capacitor. This is the uh, positive electrode, positive electrode, and this is the negative electrode. Now I will charge with two uh, volt battery. I will charge it with my uh, lead acid battery, and I will test uh, the electrolytic capacitor. Just the negative and the positive. Just charge it. Okay. I have a speaker here, my friends. I will uh, connect my speaker to the electrolytic capacitor. Okay, my friends, I charged my capacitor. Now it's time to uh, connect the speaker and try to hear the voice of the speaker, my friends. Do you see that? Again, I will charge again. One more time, I will charge again. Okay, now again, connect the speaker. Okay, uh, our 
orthotic posture is ready, you can uh, use this method to make a very nice, very beautiful um, electrotic posture at home. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe my channel. See you in the next videos. Take care of yourself, my friends.